Hi everybody, I'm out here on the second base in Angel Stadium where in just a few days we're going to pack this stadium out with uh, close to 100,000 people uh, on Saturday night and Sunday morning. Now why are we doing this? Well we do it because Jesus loves people. Because there's not a person that Jesus made that he didn't die for, that he doesn't want saved, that he doesn't want with him in heaven. God has never made a person that he doesn't have a purpose for. And so you've been praying, you're going to bring your friends to Saturday night and Sunday morning. And uh, we're doing this for three reasons. Number one, last year we ran out of uh, seats. Even with 14, 15 services, we had over 50,000 people at Easter. And uh, we, we can't stand to turn away people who want to hear the good news. I just, I just can't do that. So we thought, well, you know, if we get Angel Stadium for our 30th anniversary for Easter, now that'll be plenty of room. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Just totally wrong because the you know it was sold out even though it's free in the first uh, 48 hours so we added a second service now we're not gonna we want to turn don't want to turn away people but even now there's a possibility of doing that so what we have to do is we just have to pray that God will bring the right people here you see we're doing this not for our sake we're doing it because people without Jesus are lost for eternity. They need Christ. And we want everybody to hear the good news. Does anybody have the right to hear the good news twice before everybody's heard it once? Then, you know, on Easter Sunday, it was the angel who announced, what are you doing here? What are you looking for the dead, uh, uh, or looking for the living among the dead? And so it's very appropriate we would come to Angel Stadium <laughs> on uh, Easter weekend where he is risen. What can you do? Keep praying. Pray that right now God will begin preparing hearts of the people who will be here, that their hearts will be open to the good news. I'm going to be talking about what Jesus said after the resurrection. For seven weeks we've been talking about what Jesus said on the cross. And now at Easter we're going to look at the words of hope after the resurrection. Second thing you can do is keep inviting. We still have tickets available for Saturday night. We want it packed out. It's going to be the identical service, different music, but the same service. And we want you to be here for that. And third, if somebody uh, needs a ticket and you want to give yours up to them in order to get somebody here who doesn't know the Lord, God bless you. We'll be broadcasting this back to Lake Forest, and of course it'll be on the internet. But I'm going to ask you to keep praying because it's going to be our greatest Easter ever.